to um, be in awe of. I think she heard you and she's just come on board and that's going to be our first uh, strike of the day. Absolutely magical there and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, honey, but that was Adeline Heng. Uh, she has been uh, quite a threat. Uh, I watched her the other day as well. Let's break this down immediately and watch how this all panned out. Yes, that's right. So we were um, called Wonder Bells for a good few years. Um, before, oh, there you and go. And that is what you call teamwork, isn't it? Edelyn Heng once again uh, not around, but the captain comes to the count and, of course, sends it straight across to her teammate. And that's uh, Ong Ying Rei uh, with the strike. A wonderful setup, lovely assist. And what, now, honey, just as we know for Leto, this is really a do or die encounter if they want to stay. Well, in the running, they've got to win this game at all costs. And that's the first one. Persistence pays if you are at the right place. And Noor Sabrina with the first strike. I think, you know, the goalkeeper just taken a bit off guard, off guard there. I don't think she was expecting that return. And just out of place. Well, I think that collision uh, with the... Well, that's only going to hit the side netting. So it's not going to, you know, bother... Well, Leto too much, but I think it's an effort all the same. And this time around, what a comeback. What an absolutely stunning comeback here from Leto. The arena from uh, two sides. Uh, we've got very, very comfortable seats. And there's a lot of flow ball. And that's another absolutely stunning shot here. Well, just what the doctor ordered for Team Leto. Be All right, as you can see, the shot taken by her, it was a very beautiful... You talk about, you know, national players being a part of the squad and we've got a few players from the Philippines national team. Oh, that is beautifully done. Absolutely marvellous effort there. And this time around, it was Avril Tan to find her way through. Well, she did have a lovely effort on goal earlier, but now it's 3 all, And uh, uh, while we, of course... Well, wax eloquent about these teams. Uh, honey, you get to dissect that goal. All right, so we can see that uh, the, wa the ball was uh, intercepted by Crips. Using that, um, and they're going to go forward with the strengths that they got from the game. Oh, there we go. And that, of course, was it an own goal? Or did she get a tap in? Well, first, a save coming there from Tan Ming Min. We're going to have to watch that again. Well, there was a save there, or she did get a stick to that very, very thought. Back from the captain, Joey Tan. And once again, Tan Ming Min, and that's a blistering shot. Absolutely remarkable play there. Again, and there you go, the shot went in. So she opened the scoring uh, for Crips earlier, and this is well, another time. Personally, uh, playing with six players without a GK um, is actually really, really stressful. And there you go. You just said it. That's the commentator's curse, honey. <laughs> it just came out of the blue, didn't it? And that was uh, Lo Jinghui. Uh, just took that opportunity and that's what happens. You've just got a clear path there. And, uh, well, it's not difficult. She just had to guide that ball home. Another strike. Um, uh, Gerald Lee was kept at bay, so... And they finally got one through. That's just about slipped past her. However did that happen, you would have thought. So, Tiffany tried for the shot. And, of course, we have Nor Christina who took the rebound um, very beautifully into the uh, goalposts of the Titans. So, like what I mentioned, they would take any opportunity to go back to defence. So, it's uh, skills that you want to have with you. Um, as a football player. And there you go. That is stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. And uh, Eliska Krupnova setting that up beautifully slotted in there by um, Hajarati uh, Binti Johanna. I think that is a fantastic uh, bit of execution there by the team. Uh, and honey, uh, your thoughts on this? That was a beautiful uh, setup together with uh, Eliska and uh, a shot taken by Hajarati. I think uh, she was saying you have to keep it all in your mentality that um, you have to go for another one today. Um, there's no time to let loose. Well, Siti Nuralisa almost knocking that in. Lovely assist coming there from Casey Chia, but it's a limsy and will alert to the danger. This time around, it is Sharon who'll make a call. They needed that early strike. 
Well, this is how it all broke down. Sati Nurlis are denied first, but then here she comes with an assist, and all she needs is a good mate. And US Titans beginning to look very aggressive here. Nasha can be lethal, and they've found a way through. Sati Nurlis will celebrate that one. It's now 2-0. The Titans are beginning to shine here today from what seemed like a bit of a lackluster performance yesterday. So 2-0, we've got to get a view of that. And honey, I'm going to leave this to you to break it down. So we have a beautiful shot tried by Nasha. And it deflected off and uh, sitting around as I just took the shot in. Of course, yeah, there's, there's another bit. You know, at that point of time, most of the... Well, here goes Shannon. And that's another one from a, a brace from Shannon. And three goals. The Titans are flying high here today. Probably five, eleven, six, I, maybe more. I saw it on her player profile, but she's like 180 something cm, I think. So it's probably around six, maybe. Um, you know. Now that's true. That just spun around, didn't it? So Wonder Sticks ladies get a new lease of life here, as it's the first goal for them. I'm gonna leave Honey to run through this goal for you. So we saw that Eliska just took a beautiful tap in. It was a really calm and a composed tap in. in. For Ongui Wee. Well, that could have been 4 1, but remember, it's not always as easy as it seems. And what a strike! What a brilliant strike from Nelly Yasmin! Daniel Khalid, oh, she's done absolutely well here. It's probably the effort to uh, to prove to yourself uh, you know where you stand and how well you've done well that's a brilliant goal gave herself enough of space created that before she could dock that home the far post top corner of titans um, Nora Mira trying to send that through Jetta Lee will chase it down but not for too long Nora Mira intercepts that Shazana will will stick a hand out to help a team, Hajarati off to Eliska Kripnova, and that is a blinding strike. Comes there, and Eliska Kripnova receiving that from Hajarati. They've got their plan in motion, and uh, you're looking at uh, the Titans now defending uh, more than attacking. And, and there it is, that was going to come sooner or later. And we said that this lady could hold the key uh, for this team, Eliska Kripnova. Of course, uh, we had a nice pass from Jerry Ong uh, for Eliska Kutnova. So we can really see that, um, yes, they have a few of uh, uh, balls for possession for one of six ladies. But again, every shot that they're trying to take, there you go, Eliska Kutnova. Well, that could very well be, well, one of the nails in the coffin, if you ask me. It's now 5-4. Kripnova, right place at the right time. All she needed to do was just nudge that in. Absolutely wonderful assist. And that's how you do it. Just the early start there, and that was so required. So I also will be very, very happy to get the party started, and that's how it all broke down. Well, almost thought he was going to go in for an assist, but that is an absolutely uh, fabulous shot taken. Well, Nemesis, <laughs> rightfully named, I would say. Joel Sim doing the turnaround, and they needed that so badly. Absolutely whip that through. Magical work being done here from Sean Huang. And let's get a good view of how that transpired. Oh, definitely an opportunity here for Nemesis to grab it by the horns. And uh, even as he pushes forward, Benjamin Theo, he will earn the spoils. Went in with intent, and that's exactly what they wanted. So now it's 2-1 as Nemesis lead, and this is how it all broke down. Well, he's a sticky lad. Did run for it, Benjamin Theo. And that's exactly what was needed. Right place at the right time. And finally, it's all breaking down here. 
Well, they certainly required to get back on level terms. And all it needed was a gentle tap in. And Nemesis finally get their own piece of the pie. It was going to happen sooner than ever. And that's now, of course, 3-2 as it stands. Well, driven in from afar. And I now suddenly needed to find their way through, and that's how you get the equalizer. Call from uh, the referee. And that's very smart. And that is an absolutely phenomenal goal. As Brian Chua pulls in the fourth goal. Absolutely smart play. Mikhail. Once again, blocked there by the defense, and uh, it's still in limb, of course. So, sending it out, and what a win, you What an absolutely stunning win for Ainos, who will stay on course for the finals and will battle it out once again uh, with Nemesis tomorrow to see which of these two teams will scale through to the big uh, game. Ainos, a free hit, always a good thing, isn't it? Now, let's also very quickly remind you that we've still got the first goal in. Stunning surprise. And that one comes from Mikhail. Mikhail Simono Ramli with the first goal for Nemesis. Beautiful counter attack. Just took that straight through. Lovely solo run. Just scoops that in to the right hand corner of that goal. Kind of pushed into a corner by Nemesis. Who've not just packed on the pace, but they've got a good bit of. Uh, well, aggressive skill there on offer, and that is absolutely stunning. You need to take advantage of a disadvantage, and uh, well, that feeble pass just putting the ball right in the path of Carl Ryan, who makes it one all. Oh, so needed. Well, this is what really happens, and I think uh, Gary Wong trying to slip it to his teammate literally provided the assist. So Here's what it seems like. Um, well, before we do anything else, that's another goal struck there, and that's absolutely phenomenal. He's looking like he's on fire today as well. Uh, Mikhail Simono, but all said and done, let's get a view of how that transpired. Nemesis beginning to look very, very sharp. That is a lovely... And that's another one through... Oh, it's turning out to be a nemesis period, definitely. What a wonderful strike there. And these lads suddenly looking like they are in it to win it. Here's Hesri, of course, who picked it up. And then that brilliant execution there. Well, now that is easy peasy. If you just wait at the right time, at the right place, you will be able to knock that home. And it's Eugene uh, Lai who reduces the deficit here. It's now 3-2. Well, it's the second time around, if you ask me, that Inos have been plumb in front of the opposition's goal. And they've been able to nail one home. Uh, it happened the previous time as well, when Carl Ryan was standing right there. The sticks. Uh, two very, very unique teams. Oh, that is scooped through, just found the gap. Absolutely marvelous strike out from Joel Sim as he knocks in the sixth one. And now it's beginning to look very, very difficult here in this period for Ainos as Nemesis race ahead to a 6-2 lead. And that's needed, absolutely needed. A bit of leverage here, finally, for Ainos as they make it 5-3. Needed to knock that in, and it's Chong Han Kyung. Now that's through. 
That's pretty much turning out to be a bit of a route here now. And Ishrafa waves to the camera. Well, that's got to be, well, the best moment of it all. It's, well, if you call that hammer and tongs, well, I would say that, but I think they've just come in with a big killer instinct here. Tae Chin Hong, now stepping in Eugene Lai. Ishwar Paul will pull it away. Oh, and that's how you do it. And he's absolutely delighted. Well, that's really going for the kill. Just worked his way through, created a bit of space for himself, and, well, that's in. So now it's... Uh, I'm actually beginning to lose count. That's eight goals. <laughs> Did it cross the line? No, it didn't. Very good save. And at the other end, the counter-attack, and now it's nine goals. Well, the lad's an opportunity, and then Lee Rinji, I just spoke about him a while back. He's a very unassuming lad, but he's extremely quick, and he's very, very skilled. Benet. And talk about a counter-strike. Absolutely needed here, and it is the Wonder Sticks who have come to the party first. Javier Chua, well, he knocks the first one in, so it's 1-0. Well, that's exactly what you require. Lovely counter-strike. And talk about payback. Well, talk about payback at the right time. And this young man does it all over again. We've seen him in action before. Lim Jan Hong. Well, one of those players who can sneak in unsuspected. He's a prolific goal scorer. I've seen him over the past couple of years in action. The number 44, Peter Pong Kamban Lue, who's the number 92. And that's how you do it. That's exactly how you do it and claim it. Orion Star just beginning now to bear their claws. Absolutely a wonderful strike then. We've got to get another look at it. It's now 2-1 Orion Star. And that was so needed. Unexpected strike when the iron is hot and that is such an absolutely blistering strike. Coming straight from the stick of Mohamed Mikhail. That is a beautiful ploy. Just diverting the attention of the opposition before they could take that. And this power play has certainly worked. Well, it's always a bit of a surprise coming from his stick. Doesn't give you too much of a chance. And what a finish. What an absolutely stunning finish here. Now that's the way you do it. Ilaria Ong, right place at the right time, you would think full strength and that's a good thing for them oh what an opportunity and what a celebration all in the flow of things all in the flow of things that is a wonderful moment there well it was least expected and I think there is reason to celebrate here here's the captain Mohamed Mikhail Fighting their destiny today itself. And they got the better of Lito. Oh, what a strike. What an absolutely stunning strike there from Ethan Wong. Oh, that's a bullet of a shot. And so we expect it. So, 4-3. Orion Star could very well be throwing a spanner in the works here for the Wonder Sticks. Because if they come away with a draw or a win, well, that's just going to put the lads in red and black either out or left to decide their fate on the next day. Well, Ethan Wong just dragging that through beautifully. And Bignesa Pasupati will do the needful to collect. Siraj will slip as, well, the Wonder Sticks pull it away just in time. And what a goal! 
What an unexpected strike that is. Pira Pong. Pira Pong, come on, Lloyd. Well, just coming in from the outside, he's been active right through this game, and that pretty much puts the nail in the coffin for Ryan Star in today's encounter as Wonder Sticks now move up to a 5 3 scoreline. Oh, that is plumbing. Been a while since Ethan Wong, of course, uh, you know, struck home. He was fairly impressive yesterday. Oh, that's called a powerful shot. Moment Fata. Absolutely wonderful strike. I was just talking to him a while back uh, when he was, well, kind of warming up with this stick. What a wonderful strike that is. And Ryan Starr have got the lead in this game. It's 1-0. Send it back to Ethan Wong. Oh, that is an absolutely blistering strike. Mohamed Hanif comes to the party this time. And it's now 2-0. Well, Ethan Wong with the assist. Mohamed Hanif with the finish. And barely in the first eight minutes, Ryan Starr now are riding well high for the time being. The Wonder Sticks will have to pull up their socks and get back into well this match. Keep in mind the fact it's a do or die. There's no redemption road after this. Whoever wins this game. Fata. Lim Jan Hong. Oh, that is another fantastic strike and a brace there for Mohamed Hanif. Well, he was keen on getting another goal and it's now 3-0. Ryan Starr are beginning to shine bright here. A minute and 30 seconds left. Wonderful play. Lim Jan Hong not taking the strike, passing it back. Wig there with the assist and what a finish from Mohamed Hanif. 3-0. And that's what was needed. That was so needed. And this man, well, Siraj can be very, very sticky. But all said and done, it's the Wonder Sticks who now are in a spot of trouble with Orion Star moving up to four goals. And this is how it all panned out. Well, quick view, a lovely angle. It was a bit difficult to spot that or perceive which way it was going to go. But you got to credit Siraj. One of the interesting things about uh, Pira Pong, the number 92, does love to strike from afar. Has the ability to do that. And uh, while we talk about it, here's another goal for Orion Star. And Fata seems to be on fire. Got to find out what is the snack that he was eating when he was back in the studio room here a while back. He's certainly been in very, very good form here today. And Orion Star are beginning to... Look like they've got beautiful wraparound. So here is another strike for the lads. Here's Wig. We'll put it away for the lads in black. Oh, what a goal that is. Absolutely phenomenal solo run there from Vignesa Pasipati. And the captain decides to lead by example. It's now 6-0. Well, the Wonder Sticks just left ball watching for that bit. Did have a bit of a chase, but it wasn't strong enough. Double last year, this year it might be a change. And finally, finally does it. Virasak Pimpa, well, was so persistent right through this entire game. Well, a lot of things have changed here as far as, well, the game is concerned. Having said that, I do believe that time is off the essence and with just about 11 minutes to go, that's the way you do it. That is absolutely the way you do it, as he could. Well, there's a little bit of relief there. Very well done by Joshua Rossio. It's now 